Hello, welcome to my channel, Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and I'm doing my backlog of tags. Today is the Simple Chinese Book Recommendations Tag, created by Tim to Many Books channel. And I was tagged by Elizabeth at Bookins and Books. The description for this is, the tag is very simple. Recommend a book for each of the Chinese zodiac signs. It can be books you have read, books you want to read, books of a single genre. Anything goes, and anything does go. I happen to have 11 out of the 12 books on hand. The one that I'm missing, I might have it somewhere, but I want to give you a digital copy because that's going to be special. Prompt number one, rat. And I'm not going to put up the one everyone thinks I'm going to put up. I am putting up The Rat by Gunter Gross, winner of the Nobel Prize of Literature, most famously known as the author of The Tin Drum, with its famous character, Oscar. And this is one of his um, other novels, Gunter Gross. Let me just give you a very brief description. In this superbly inventive, beautifully crafted novel, Gunter Grass relates in dreamlike sequences the end of the world and the beginning of an age of rats. And Oscar features in this book. I have never read it. I have read The Tin Drum. Uh, tin Drum is a magnificent novel, it's very dense. Um, it has to be read more than once. And I kind of imagine that the rat is gonna follow through and kind of a book you're gonna to have to read more than once. Prompt number two, Ox. I have the book, The Oxbow Incident, which is really not about oxes, it just has ox in the title. I am going to cheat like Elizabeth and go with cow as um related to an ox or close enough and um my book is called cow the author is beat stretchy he is a german author and um this is sort of an expressionist novel as i remember correctly i read it in the 80s um it features a cow as a character and a man who is eventually going to become a butcher you know this is not going to end well and it doesn't. But I remember really liking it. And it's sitting on my shelf and I'm thinking, I should reread this day. So I'll look up Cow, see if it's available on Amazon or Kindle. Prompt number three, Tiger. Tiger by Neil Slatter. And this is a killer animal book. On the cover, she was 500 pounds of killer cat on the loose. It was up to the man who raised her and loved her to make sure that she never killed again. Killer animals, tigers, there we go. And here we come to prompt number four, rabbit. And here I'm gonna have to put up, you know, the ebook image. And the book that I have chosen is The Year of the Angry Rabbit by Russell Braddon. This is a horror novel in which giant mutant rabbits go on the rampage with gnashing teeth. Just, just look at the bones! Oh, wait a second. That's some other killer rabbit. I have no idea. Um, I've never seen this book. I've never read this book. I just know it was made into a movie called The Night of the... I'm drawing a huge blank. The Night of the... something very odd. But it's about killer rabbits. So how, how, how wrong can you go with killer rabbits? Apparently it's a very cheesy, cheesy book. And if you look it up on Amazon, you'd have to pay $100 for the paperback. And no, that book is not worth $100. And then 
After that five, we have Dragon. Ice Dragon by Jeffrey Lord. This is sort of a science fantasy novel in which a British man is um, sent to a new world in every book. And he just happens to be sent there buck naked. And he usually finds a sword. And he usually finds a beautiful naked lady. So you can see the naked man with his sword and the naked lady running around, running away from this horrible dragon-like creature. Yeah, that's a dragon, okay? Six, Snake. I'm bringing on my guest host for Snake. This is Seth the Snake. There we go. And I have a number of Snake books. I have Fangs by William Dobson. I have Venom by Alan Schofield. Just look at that boy, terrified by the window. He's seen a snake. I have Venom, so creative with their, their, their snake titles by Russell O'Neill, King Cobra. And Rattlers by Joseph L. Gilmore. So I got a lot of snake books. Yes, Seth. There we go. Bye-bye, Seth. This is prompt number seven. Horse. Bethany's Sin by Robert McCammon. This is a horror novel from the early 80s. I originally read it when I was a high school student. I recently reread it last year. It's an okay horror novel. And there are horses in the book. They're not quite as demonic as this cover would imply, but the lovely lady, she's a nasty, lovely lady, and she has a battle ax and she rides horses. A lot of fun. Prompt number eight, Goat, The Devil by Dennis Wheatley. This is sort of survey of the devil in arts and literature. And the devil is, of course, often depicted as a goat. And this book is heavily illustrated with different depictions of the devil and people associated with Satanism, I believe. Prompt number nine, monkey. I'm going with Planet of the Apes. The original title of this in English before the movie was Monkey Planet because um, it has lots of different types of simians, just like the movie. But this movie, no, I'm sorry, this book differs slightly from the movie. This has a surprise ending. And after the surprise ending, a second surprise ending. And I like them both. This is a very easy book to read, very enjoyable. Pick it up, Monkey Planet, AKA Planet of the Apes. Prompt number 10, Rooster. Well, you don't get roosters without their female counterpart, chickens. So I'm going for the book, The Decapitated Chicken and Other Stories by Horatio Quiroga. Yeah, I, I suppose knows, I should know my Spanish better than that, but I don't. And this features a short story in which um, chickens are decapitated. It is a great little gothic horror. Not gothic horror. Yeah, yeah I guess it's, no, it would not be considered gothic horror. It's just a regular horror story set in South America. It's a good story and a, a punchy ending. The Decapitated Chicken. Prompt number 11, Dog. And here I'm going with The Pack by David Fisher. This is a story set on an island. And um, people come to vacation on their island and 
leave their dogs. And the dogs, well, they, they go mad. This was made into a very, very cheesy movie. I've never read the book, but um, it's supposedly a pretty decent, cheesy horror novel about killer dogs. Number 12, pig. Well, the, the, the male pig are often known as razorbacks. And this is a um, horror novel, a killer pig. And um, don't, don't laugh, pigs can be extremely vicious, except for the razorbacks. They can, they can kill. And this is a set in Australia. And it is about a killer razorback. I have not read it, but it is a book about a pig. So that is our my 12 zodiac signs in books. And who am I going to tag? Well, I want to tag people who I think have enough books that um they can come up with some animal covers. I'm going to do Alice of Alice in the Bo Giant Bookshelf. I'm going to do Bad as Rad too. I think she might have some. And if you don't, you can cheat and pull off book covers from the internet. I'm going to do Caitlin at Bandy's Books, Michael Romeo Talks Books, and Ms. Reads a Lot. Let's see if um she has some books with animals on the cover or can come up with them. Well, anyway, I hope you choose to do the tag. And if you don't, don't worry about it. Thank you for watching and keep on reading.